Hello friends, welcome to tutorial number two. So today we are going to be covering the Citicon borderless form component and are going to see how we can use this component within our project. So it's very interesting that this component is one of the exciting components that we have in the library. So we're going to start by dragging the component onto the form and to see what happens. I'd like you to take a look at the form as you can see that it has this default border. So I want you to see what happens when we drag the component onto the form. There it is. The form's border property has been changed. So why did this happen? When you go to the properties tab for the component, right at the bottom you can see that the component knows by default or automatically it knows that it has to style the form hence it got the form and made a few changes in preparation for the styling that will come after that so this allows you to immediately start to style your your form it saves a lot of time and it allows you to perform some maximum customization toward your form so without making any changes let's run the project and see what we've got so far Let's wait for a moment. There it is. So let's see the changes that we have. Right. I have opened Notepad so that we can have a white background and see some changes that have been effected. As you can see, the form has been applied. The drop, sh uh, drop shadow or big shadow, I don't know how you call it. The drop shadow has been applied right around the form. And something interesting is that the drag capabilities have been applied again. Let's see. Yes, you can see the the form can be dragged. So the property has applied the drag capabilities. Let's minimize the notepad. Again, another feature has been added, which is the docking feature. When you drag the form onto any edge, you can see that the docking is activated. So by default, the component knows that we're going to work with the form make some customizations to it hence this feature has been automatically activated onto the form let's stop the project so i'm going to make uh, some customization and see how this works when we're working with forms so the first property that we have is the dog form property by default is set to true automatically when a form is obtained and attached to the component this happens in real time so the doc form has been set to true if we set this to false and run you see that the docking capability will be turned off there it is we can drag the form but we cannot dock the form let's stop the project let's see other properties that we have let's turn on the docking capability and let's change the docking color to blue and let's run the project there it is you can see the docking has been changed to blue yes you can set it to any color that you want according to your needs which suits your design needs okay let's change the docking transparency by default it's 50 percent but let's see what happens when we uh, provide a higher percent so we have set it to uh, 50 percent by default sorry it's 20 percent but we have set it to 50 percent let's see what happens there it is the docking is much more visible now because we have increased the percent And the transparency is still visible this is very very nice right let's stop the project let's see other features that we have right there we have another interesting feature which is the drag form capability so for the meantime let us disable the docking feature of course the docking feature can be enabled when you are dragging the form or applying some transparency that's okay but for demonstration purposes 
let's just disable the docking feature and let's enable the transparency while drag feature and see what happens let's run the project let's drag you can see that the, the form's transparency is applied but it is not that visible because by default as you can see right there the drag opacity or transparency value is 90 percent let's change that to 50 percent and see what happens let's run the form it's much more visible now that's quite interesting let's even take it lower to 30% and see what happens. Let's run the project and give it a moment to build, make some changes. There it is. It's even lower and so forth. So this is what you can do. You can change the dragging transparency and when the drag ends, the component knows automatically that the drag has ended and it applies some default color onto the back color of the wind form hence it is white by default so let's revert back to 50 percent and save we have other interesting properties there as you can see we have the border radius by default it's zero but let's take it to 30 percent and see what happens as you can see in the designer we can see that our form border has changed let's run the project and see whether the changes will be affected there it is i'm going to open notepad so that we can have a white background there it is the the corners of the wind form has been changed yes this is what we can achieve when we set the border radius value let's revert it back to zero percent right Another interesting feature that we have in this borderless form component is the has form shadow. So I'm going to run the project as it is and it's going to show a form shadow. Let's have a white background and let's see the result there with a form shadow. Some call it drop shadow or back shadow. So let's stop the project and let's turn off this feature and see what happens let's run there it is i'm going to open notepad so the form is there i'm dragging it but it does not have a shadow because we have turned off the feature so it's possible to turn off the shadow and turn on the shadow according to your design needs we can customize this according to your needs let's stop the project let's turn on the shadow let's change the shadow color from black to green lime green and see what happens there it is as you can see the color has been changed so let's turn off the transparency or drag so that we don't get distracted and rerun the project we're going to apply a white background by opening notepad to the full screen and see yes now we can see a lime green drop shadow around the form let's change it to red so as you can see you can customize the drop shadow according to your design needs to meet your theme needs yes there it is we have a red drop shadow right around the form yes this is possible when we are using this component so it's one of the most powerful components that we have in our library so right there you can see we have another interesting feature which is the resize form 
I want you to see what happens. We're not going to make any changes here. It is set to true. This feature is enabled. I want you to see what happens. Let's run the form. Let's put on the full white background. I'm going to resize the form. There it is, as you can see. I can resize the form accordingly. So let's turn off this feature. It is right at the bottom, the resize form feature, and run the project again and see what happens. Let's apply a white background by opening full screen notepad. There is a form. So as you can see, I'm not able to resize the form because I've turned off the feature. So if you want the resize capabilities, you simply turn on and turn off the feature. There it is. I cannot resize the form because the feature has been turned off. So these are some properties that we have in features that we have in the Citicon borderless form component. You can make use of this. You can change the drop shadow color you can change the docking color the docking percentage you can even apply transparency while dragging and so forth according to your design needs thank you for joining me in this video tutorial and i hope to see you friends next time as we're going to be looking at the silicon button it is one of the most frequently used component or control in our library and we're going to be looking at it to the full what you can achieve with this button my name is Russell Ochidakwa and I'm a software developer working with the Citicon Framework development team. Until next time friends, cheers. <music>